Hi, I'm now going to um, read a letter that's come in as somebody who's asking me for my help. Uh, and what I want to do is to share, as I normally do with my blog, I want to share the experience and see if other people can get some benefit from what, what I'm doing here for this lady. She wants to be anonymous, which is, we, we normally try to keep those question answers anonymous, but we will send this to her directly as well. Um, thank you for sending your letter in. I'm going to read it to you first. Um, I need to know why I'm always unlucky. Why the man I love for seven years was not loyal to me and I am from a poor family. I need a large amount of money for my mother's kidney operation and I'm unemployed. Every time I try to make something good happen in my life or for my family, I always fail. Sometimes I feel like we are living with a curse. Please help me. Now, this, where this lady comes from is a part of the world where it is not unusual to, to suffer curses. And uh, I've travelled a lot into in to places where where curses are put on people. Now, what are curses? They're they're negative energies that uh, come from thoughts and symbolic actions. It's when someone does something like black magic. What they're doing is they're putting together um, a, an intention. And I found that intentions that are backed by either actions or um, some form of ritual tend to have more power. It, it's a reinforcement of that person's will and determination and intention. Now we can use that in a very positive way. Um, we can use that as a ritual and intention, like my morning ritual where your intention is to open your heart to reconnect to your higher self and to be in a positive frame of mind ready for the day. That's a positive ritual and it works very well for the person doing the ritual and if you're sending uh, like a Christmas card, birthday card to someone, the ritual of, of a birthday gift and the, the, the gathering and celebration, they're rituals but they're very positive ones. On the opposite side of the coin are the rituals that are performed to hurt people, harm people and send them negative vibrations. Um, sometimes these, these intentions and the energies that are sent are so strong and if the person who's receiving it is in a fearful state, they almost embrace it and hold it and that means that curse sticks. Okay. Now, if the curse, the negative energy sticks, it becomes like a, 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 a cloud, a block, if you like, of, of negative energies, um, like a fist, I always feel, that sits inside that person or the energy of that family. So everybody in the family gets affected. Then it starts to affect the home. It affects everything around them because it's like pulsing out this negativity it also starts to affect the person's mind so that they start to hold a negative belief and once you hold a negative belief it's another imprint that again pulses out as negative vibes in the sense of of uh, negative thoughts i'm i'm unlucky like this young this lady here i'm unlucky i can never get a work i'm i am Poor. So that becomes a statement, a fact, a definite, defining thought of that about that person. Is that she, this lady, and who I'm talking to now, you feel that you are poor and you are unlucky. So what started off as some negative energy coming into your family, and it can come from experiences. So you have a bad experience, and that becomes it. You don't think, well, that's a, one experience, but that doesn't define my whole life and the way I am. If it's traumatic enough, 
It can be such a shocking experience. It can leave such an imprint that everybody in that family can believe that they are unlucky, that they cannot ever come out of that situation. So what I need to do to help you in a situation like this is to give you uh, an antidote, if you like, of strong, powerful energies which will take the negative energies and transform them. Transform them and raise the vibration. What can you do for yourself? I'm going to do the uh, clearing of this curse energy in a moment. And anybody who is watching this can receive this energy because it's coming out with the intention that I send it to this lady but also to anybody else who's, who's wanting to be open to receive. What else can you do for yourself? Well, you need to start to reprogram your mind because what's happened for this lady and will happen to anybody if you have had bad experience you will think that it's all going to be bad therefore you're sending out a magnet the, 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 the negative belief becomes a magnet that will again trap more and more negative energies in so what we need to do is to create positive magnets um, how can you do that? well every day affirmations help but they have to be believable otherwise it's like a rote that you just say it doesn't mean anything but you can say the sun is shining I feel good in the sun that's a start it's a positive statement find all the positives you can think of in your life that means that you're sending out positive energies it's no good saying when you're feeling you know you're sitting there 20 stone and saying I'm thin I'm sorry those affirmations don't work because you know they're not true we could say something that no matter what size I am I'm able to have fun with my friends those are the positives you can start to use so anything that can make you feel positive um, that helps the mind for the heart Within our heart, there is a very, very strong, powerful force, which is the true you. So, whatever's happened, and in your case, you are poor, and you have no money, and you have no job, but right inside you, there's still a shining light. And that shining light is the true you. That is the, the essence of you. And it's hidden behind the pain and the hurt and the blockages that are put around your heart by the experiences you've had. Your fears, your fears for your mother, your fears for your own well-being and your future. These act as a block. Now I'm going to help you clear that block with the energy I'm sending to you because it's high vibrational energy and it, it can heal the root cause which is the hurt inside. It's the, in your case, it's the curse energy that's sitting inside you too. So we're going to clear that. But you can, from your side, allow that pure you that's right inside, which now can be seen, if you allow it, you can every day open your heart. You can do it by using your hands. This is a positive ritual, a positive uh, intention to open your heart and shine your light out. Now this light that's you, the true essence of you, this is the same as the energy of your higher self. It, it isn't damaged, it's pure, it's, it's everything, all the good that is you. And this light which you shine out, call it the God within, the, 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 the sacred energy that's within you, if you let that light shine out, that becomes a magnet to attract good things in. So that is what we need to think about and the intention to set as an ongoing situation after I've done the clearing. Okay, you just do it every morning to say, I shine my light. And once you start to shine your light, you'll be surprised how it affects every part of you. And then it also opens the way for good things to happen. Good things are already happening. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Not just my own personal love, 
but the love that I'm channeling for you. So, just relax. And I'm going to ask you to, to do one thing. Once I've put the protection around you, I'm going to ask you to open up and I'll show you how. Okay. First I'm going to do is to help you ground your energy so that you're connected to the earth. Up your shoulders, relax and breathe. Breathe in deeply. And as you breathe, hold the intention that all the negative energies that are sitting within you, caused by your own experiences or by the other people or what they've done to you, are going to leave you. They're going to transform, they're going to become positive energies of understanding and light and that is your intention to heal hold that intention in your mind visualize yourself as a great tree with roots that go deep deep down into the earth and as the roots go deeper and deeper you become more and more strong and more stable and you're connecting to the energies of Mother Earth. Now, let's think of those energies of Mother Earth that can help you. Connect to the mountains. The mountains are strong, they're stable. The very fact that they're a pyramid shows their strength and stability. Connect to the energy of mountains and allow the energy of the mountains to come to you as strength and stability. You're feeling insecure. The mountain energy will be good for you. It will make you feel stronger. Now connect to the energies of waterfalls. Waterfalls are energies like the shower you stand under a shower it cleanses your energy field your aura just allow the energy of the waterfall to flow over you now just feel the cleansing and know that you're connecting to that energy okay now you're strong you're connected and you're stable I surround you in the blue flame of Archangel Michael and we seal your energy. This acts as a filter and only positive vibrations of energy come through. And because you've been under such a difficult energy, a curse, I'm going to call in the energies of Setra Chen. Setra Chen is a Tibetan Buddhist Dharma protector. <clears throat> Dharma being the spiritual journey. Being used by Buddhist monks for centuries. I'm going to use his mantra to call in his energy. Beautiful golden protective energy for you. Om Mahaya Chacha Soha. Om Mahaya Chacha Soha. Om Mahaya Chacha Soha. O Mahaya Chacha Soha, O Mahaya Chacha Soha, O Mahaya Chacha Soha. I call in the energies of Setrap Chen to surround you and your family with the golden energies of protection around your home, your family, and around you. You are now surrounded and protected. This golden energy right now. Right now, right now. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> and I also call in the pink flame representing Divine Mother Love. Divine Mother Love is all around us in this world. It's also from spirit. It's the love of mother to child beautiful, unconditional love. It's 
at its purest, I surround you, wrapped in the arms of Mother. No criticism, no judgment, pure acceptance. Right now, right now, surrounded by this love. Now I ask you to put your hands together in front of your heart, your heart center, and let your hands represent the doors of your heart. Slowly open them with your intention to open your heart to receive the energies of love and healing that I'm going to send to you. Now put them your hands in front of your forehead to represent the doors of your mind and again open, open to receive the healing and I suggest you ask your mother who can also, if she doesn't understand what I'm saying, will get the vibration of the energy to put her hands in front of a solar plexus as you open, know that you're opening to the spirit of your body to allow the love and healing to enter the spirit and into your body, your physical body. Spirit and physicality of your body. I call in the energies of love and healing that you need at this time. And I call them in now, right now, right now to flow directly through your heart, into your heart and down deep into your heart and soul to heal the imprints that are held there that attract the negativity in your life. And we heal all imprints that no longer serve you and transform them to wisdom right now. Right now, right now, right now. And your soul has empathy for those who suffer, all that you've suffered. Your soul will never forget that. And from that will grow kindness. More love and more love flows into your heart. Opening the way and pulling down the barriers that separate the parts of your heart, the spheres of your heart, the chambers of your heart that connect to finance, clearing the blocks to finance and security. Clearing the blocks between your heart, you and work opportunities. Clearing the blocks between you and your life purpose. And I clear and release right now, right now, with the purest energies of the universe and the love, divine love. <clears throat> Clearing now, in the name of light, the curse that's placed upon you, dissolving it with light, with love, right now, right now right now releasing the curse from you and your family right now right now right now good 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 that's good more love and more love flows in now and it flows into your mind and it fills your mind with positive vibrations and dissolve and we clear right now and heal all negative beliefs and imprints of your mind right now, right now, right now. More love and more love flows in and flows into your body now. Filling your body and healing all that needs to be healed. Allow this energy in right now. Ah. 
and I ask you to open the core of your heart where your true essence and light shines opening now to shine out and let it shine into your mind and let it shine into your body just by you saying the words I shine my light through my mind through my body out into the world as a magnet to attract all that I need I shine my light out to the world to attract all that I need shining light we send out the light to all those suffering poverty, all those feeling put down by life. Let our light shine to them right now. Right now. And this loving energy will continue to flow to you as long as you're open to it. And remember, every day, open your heart to receive and give of your light. It is a powerful, powerful force and it is a powerful magnet. Bless you. Thank you so much for sending your letter in and sharing this with others. Bless you for joining me in this healing. And I will put, if you send in another letter uh, with your mother's name, I will put her on our healing, Hearts and Hands Healing. It's on my website, you can go there directly and you can ask for help from all those who have registered to help anybody who needs it in the world, anywhere in the world. And next Monday, I'm sending out at 7.30 UK time, I'm sending out distant healing to anybody who wishes to open to it. Information on my website. Bless you. Big hugs. Lots of love.